Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So this lesson will be all about what is VAT. So I'm gonna explain exactly how what VAT is and we're gonna look at calculations. Now I know you've probably heard about VAT and you've looked at calculations from earlier grades already, but in this lesson I'm gonna do my best to help you to have a very good understanding of what it is and also a nice easy way to do the calculations. For this lesson, uh, we're gonna use 15% for VAT, okay? Um, a couple years ago, we used to use 14% here in South Africa. Now it's 15%. But you always have to make sure because some examples from textbooks and things like that, they're still using 14%. So you always need to make sure what you are using, okay? So let's get started. Let's, let's talk about what is VAT. So VAT, it stands for Value Added Tax. Now, what it really is is the following. So let's say, for example, you sell, you have a big factory and you sell t-shirts, okay? So here you sell t-shirts. Let's just try to see if I can draw a nice t-shirt. Okay, so that's, oh, it's very thin over here, but anyway, um, <laughs> that's a t-shirt. Now let's say that your t-shirt is worth 100 rand, okay? But then what happens is that, let's say that that is the price without that. Price without that. So you think that that t-shirt is worth 100 rand, but you're not going to sell it for 100 rand. What you're rather going to do is the following. You are going to add 15% onto that price, okay? So you're going to um, you're gonna add 15%. Now don't worry about the calculations right now. I'm just going to add on 15%, and that's going to give you 115 rand, okay? Now that is what, now what you will do is that in your factory or in your shop, you will sell, you will tell the people who are buying your item that the, the shirt is 115 rand, okay? So they're gonna give you 115 rand. So here comes the 115 rand. But then what happens is that that 115 rand, um, they're gonna give it to you, but then what you need to do is you need to give 15% back to the government or SARS who handles the taxes of our country. So you're gonna give 15 Rand to, um, to the government and then you're gonna get your 100 Rand after that, okay? So, so when you buy something at a shop, like let's say you go to the shop and you buy, um, let's say you buy bread or whatever you buy, the price that you see in the shop is this one over here, which already has the VAT included. And then what happens is that you're gonna give that money to the shop, and then at the end of the month or at the end of the year, then the shop is gonna have to go give all of the um, all of the VAT to the government or to SARS, and then, and then they get to keep the rest, okay? So does that make sense? So all the prices that you see in the shops already have the VAT included. Some items don't have VAT. Um, we'll talk about that in next lessons, but the price that you see in the shop is already the price that has the VAT included. Okay, so let's do some calculations now to practice how to use the 15%. So, so the formula that you're gonna use, it's gonna be really basic. You're just gonna take the price without uh, VAT, multiply, by 1.15, and that and the 1.5 is the 15%. So if you're doing a question that is 14%, then you would use 14. If it's like 13%, you would say 1.13. And that's gonna be equal to the price with that. Okay, now your teacher might use a different one. They might have the price without that multiplied by 115 over 100. Now that 115 over 100 is 1.15, okay? So I'm just taking a little bit of a shorter version and that's where I'm getting the 1.15 from. So uh, let's just write this out again. So I'm gonna go um, price without, I'm just gonna say price without, multiplied by 1.5 is equal to the price with. Okay, now something else I wanna say that's just gonna make your life a whole lot easier is you can actually just do this. To add VAT, to add VAT, multiply by 1.15. To take VAT away, divide by 1.15. Okay, that's actually what this formula is gonna do. So to add VAT onto an item, so let's say you have an item that doesn't have any VAT. To add the VAT on, you just multiply by 1.15. To take the VAT away, you just divide by 1.15. 
So here's our first example. It says that a soccer ball costs 120 rand excluding VAT. So that means without VAT. So that's without VAT. Okay, now it says question A, determine the price with VAT. Okay, so what we've learned is that if you want to include VAT, just multiply with 1.15. So you're just going to say 120 multiplied by 1.15, and that'll give us 138 Rand. So that is the price that you would actually pay at the shop. So how much VAT was added? Well, this was the original price before the VAT, and this is the price after the VAT. So for question B, you could just say 138 Rand minus 120, and that would be 18 Rand. So they added on 18 Rand of VAT. This question says, Martin paid 199 Rand for a pair of pants. VAT is already included. How much does the pair of pants cost without VAT? Okay, so to remove the VAT, you divide by 1.15. So you're going to say 199. Uh, divided by 1.15, this is for question A, and that'll be 107, I'm gonna round to two decimal places, so that's 173 rand um, and four cents, okay? Now question B says, determine the VAT amount. Okay, so the original price was 199, and the, the price without the VAT is that, so you can just minus those two, so you can say 199 minus 173.04, and that'll be, 25.96. An item costs 1,000 Rand without VAT. Determine the price with VAT. Okay, so it says to include VAT, multiply. You just want to make the number bigger, so you multiply. And then when you want to make the number smaller, you divide. So we're going to say for question A, you're just going to say 1,000 multiply by 1.15, and that's going to give you 1,150 Rand. And so for this next one, how much VAT was added? Well, you can just say 1,150 minus 1,000, and so that'll be 150 Rand. Here's our last question for this lesson. I receive an invoice for a new mattress. On the invoice, it lists the mattress as 2,150 Rand without VAT. Determine the price with VAT. Okay, so to include VAT, you're just going to multiply with 1.15. So we're just going to say 2,150 multiplied by 1.15. And so that's going to be 2472,50. And then how much VAT was added? Well, there you just minus the, um, you just minus the big one. You say big one minus small one. Okay, so minus 2150. And that'll be 322.50, 322 Rand 50.